GDP can be viewed from two different perspectives. The income approach looks at GDP in terms of the income derived or created from producing goods and services. The expenditures approach measures GDP as the sum of all of the money spent on buying the output. In theory, either method should yield equal results. The expenditures and income approaches are two different ways to look at the same thing. You could look at a quarter from the head side or the tail side, but it is still worth the same amount. This is the same as the expenditures and income approaches for calculating GDP. Here are the two different approaches to measuring GDP. On the left, the expenditures approach measures GDP as the sum of four items. Consumption by households, investment by businesses, government purchases, and expenditures by foreigners. On the right, the income approach uses different inputs, wages, rents, interests, profits, and statistical adjustments. For the purpose of this class, we'll spend our time focused on the expenditures approach. This chart calculates GDP for 2009 in the United States by both the expenditures approach and the income approaches. Note that both methods come to the same conclusion for that year. Personal consumption expenditures, indicated by a C notation, covers all expenditures by households on goods and services during a year. In any given year, approximately 10% of those expenditures are for durable consumer goods, which are defined as having a life of three years or more. Another 30% go to non-durable goods, such as food, clothing, and gasoline. The other 60% are for services leading to the U.S. economy, frequently being referred to as a service economy. The second component of the expenditures approach is gross private investment, which includes all final purchases of machinery, equipment, and tools by businesses, all construction, and changes in inventories. All of these items represent ways businesses invest in themselves. Construction also includes residential construction because homes could be rented to produce income. The last two components of the expenditures approach are government purchases and net exports. Government purchases are officially labeled government consumption expenditure and gross investment, but that's a mouthful, so we'll just call it government purchases. It includes expenditures for goods and services that the government uses in providing public services and expenditures for publicly owned capital, such as for schools or roads. It excludes government transfer payments, such as Social Security, because it merely transfers government receipts to certain households and does not generate any sort of production. Net exports are calculated by subtracting the value of imported goods from the value of the exported goods. Adding up all four components provides a measure of GDP, a measure of the market value of a specific year's total output. For the United States in 2015, GDP equaled $17.4 trillion.